you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I'm an ultrasound technologist who lives in Las Vegas and loves all things Disney. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys subscribe down below so you never miss a video again. Today I wanted to talk about something very, very, very common. And for those of you who are wondering why I'm making this video right now, it's because I got asked multiple times today this same exact question. So I'm just gonna set the record straight and hopefully this will help you guys who don't know anything about ultrasound or people who are going into ultrasound or students or medical people, healthcare workers, patients. This video is for anyone really. And I just wanted to basically cover the basis really quick, just give you like a kind of long but short answer of this question. And so obviously you've probably seen the title and truly, truly, truly this question gets asked all the time or this comment gets said all the time and it kind of, it hurts a little bit. <laughs> so let's just get right into this topic, which basically is do ultrasound techs slash sonographers actually or really know what they're looking at because half the time a patient or someone will be like oh you probably don't even know what you're looking at and i'll explain to you a little bit more on why they ask this so with that being said if you guys are interested in knowing if we actually know what we're looking at stay tuned for the rest of this video grab your snacks grab your drinks and let's just jump right into it so to start off let me just let you know a little bit what ultrasound techs or ultrasound technologists or sonographers, yes, they're all the same exact thing, actually do. We use this little machine right here. Nowadays, with new technology, they have actual like handheld ultrasound probes and whatnot, but typically you're gonna have this huge machine and you're gonna use probes or cameras that emit high frequency waves. So it's all like physics based, right? And we use those different probes to take pictures from anything like your brain, your heart, veins, arteries, arms and legs, pelvics, abdomens, kidneys, gallbladder, spleen. There's a ton more things that we do that you probably don't even think we do, like testicles. We do vaginal ultrasounds. We do prostate. So yeah, there's, you can basically ultrasound anything almost. What we do is take images of those and the machine doesn't do it itself. We, the operators, do them. You can't just have any random person do ultrasound. The ultrasound tech has to have a degree or a certificate or have gone to a school like associates bachelors you have to be able to go to school do a program do boards which are like registry exams kind of like for nursing it's a similar thing as you know they take the NCLEX well we take a bunch of different board exams and it's not just one not just one end-all be-all we have to take a physics board exam we have to do abdomen vascular OBGYN pediatrics fetal echo we have to do musculoskeletal breast there's a ton of different specialties but even though there's a bunch of different specialties we all learn how to generally do ultrasound depending on which route you're in more on ultrasound later but basically yes we the ultrasound tech the sonographer we should know what we're looking at we actually know what we're looking at if anyone really wanted to know like do you know what you're looking at yeah we kind of have to know because if we didn't know what we were looking at or if we didn't know what organ we were looking at what orientation we're supposed to take the image in what the protocol is well that's kind of scary. Like, I wouldn't want to have an ultrasound tech scan me who didn't know what they were looking at. Now, this goes to show that obviously who's teaching the ultrasound tech in school or where they learn from, how much experience they had, how much scanning time they got. We all learn from different people and different techs and all the techs learn from different people and different techs. So yeah, we generally know what we're looking at. You have to know anatomy physiology you have to know symptoms and signs of why someone's having pain you have to know you know if somebody has an abscess do they have a fever are they having elevated white blood cells we have to know so much anatomy there is so much knowledge in our brains especially echo techs they have to know everything about the heart every little detail about the heart and i would hope that if i ever had to have a cardiac ultrasound that my ultrasound tech knew what they were looking at because if they didn't I would be screwed, right? What do we do? We have a protocol. So let's say we're doing an abdomen ultrasound. We have this protocol, like we take the pancreas, 
liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, common bile duct, main portal vein. We take all these pictures in certain ways, sagittal, transverse, planes. We manipulate the probe and get the images that the doctors want. Now, every place might have a different protocol, but generally it's all kind of the same. And what we're doing is trying to help the doctor diagnose these patients. Because if we don't take these images, then the doctors won't know. And at the end of our exam, we usually have a report that we write, like a tech report, and then we give it to the doctor. Now, this is all probably like, oh. Now, this is all probably a surprise to some people because they probably didn't know that we know what we look at. But the reason why people don't know that we know what we look at is because we can't tell you. It's a secret and we can't tell you what's going on, right? Because I am not a doctor. Ultrasound technologists and sonographers are not doctors. And unfortunately, we cannot tell you what's going on in there. We cannot tell you what we see that is going to be like telling you a diagnosis, right? I can tell you like, yeah, I see your kidney and yeah, I see your ovary or I'm getting the pictures that we need for the doctor. But I can't tell you that there's a cyst on your liver or there is a blood clot in your vein. And that is something that the doctors have to do. Because me as a sonographer, I can tell you one thing and the doctor can tell you something else. And then that's on me and I could get in trouble for that. I could lose my job for telling you something that I see because that's not my job. My job is to take the images. I am your body photographer. I get your pictures for the doctor and then they look at it, they analyze it, they say if you need a CAT scan, if you need to go to x-ray, if you need to go to nuclear medicine or MRI. Ultrasound doesn't have any radiation so a lot of times they come to us first and we're a pretty simple test according to a lot of people out there. But honestly ultrasound is very challenging it's hard you have a lot of barriers that will you know block an organ bowel gas patient size so there's a lot of different things but i just wanted to get on here and share our secret and you know like they've said before in my past videos we are honestly a secret society because we know so much we know a lot in our brains we're looking at stuff and yeah we know pretty much the protocol and what we're looking at but there will be times like if there's a mass, right? Or something abnormal. We can't really know exactly what it is for sure because sometimes we need a CAT scan or an MRI to confirm what we're seeing. Sometimes there could be artifact and you could mistake something for a blood clot and really it's not a blood clot. So that's the thing. You have to be able to be confident in your scans as a sonographer to know, you know you're not missing anything or that you're not making anything up. And that's kind of the gist of it and the hard part. We are a secret society because we don't, tell you what you know you want to hear and we have to like sit back behind our masks have a poker face we have to pretend like we don't know what we're looking at but honestly we know what we're looking at and i hope if you ever get an ultrasound tech to do a scan for you that they know what they're looking at and yeah i don't know i don't know if people are going to hate me because i'm telling the secret that we actually know what we're looking at but i just wanted you guys to know we actually know what we're looking at i know what the pancreas looks like and I know what the liver looks like, the spleen, the kidneys. As a sonographer, we pretty much know what normal anatomy looks like, where the normal anatomy should be, where something should be superior, inferior, lateral, medial. And then that's where we see abnormal and we're like, hey, that's abnormal, that shouldn't be there. And of course, anatomy is pretty much the same. We're all built the same on the inside, but there are so many people who are born differently or who have a different variant, or some people can have the gallbladder on the left side. Some people can have multiple veins where they usually only have one. So it's kind of interesting. There's a lot that we have to know as an ultrasound tech, and we don't just take pictures. We do so much more than people actually think we do. And that's what this channel is here for, for you guys to learn about ultrasound. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was straightforward for you because really, I just want people to know that we know what we're looking at. We do a lot of anatomy. We do a lot of physiology, physics. We learn so much in ultrasound school that literally your mind is like gonna explode with all the information you know. You have to know like all different types of cysts, masses, abnormalities, and it's just a lot. 
a lot of stuff are rare, so it's not like we're gonna see it all the time. But I mean, we have to know what normal is to be able to know what abnormal is. So yeah, thank you guys for coming to my ultrasound TED talk. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other questions, that I didn't really clarify in this because I wanted it to be short, but I know I always talk a lot, so it's kind of long. Definitely comment down below and I will answer you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and like this video so we can have the algorithm happy. All right, you guys, stay safe, stay positive, take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.